Hi, this is Todd Lowe for Pedantic Geek. Now, finding pi prime numbers is not something that I think is taught really well in school. And uh, that's really quite a shame because prime numbers are uh, very important from anything from uh, finding the lowest common denominator and adding fractions all the way up to um, coming up with unbreakable codes. Um, however, this is uh, not for um, very large prime numbers. This is for uh, rather small prime numbers. Now, what you see before you is called a sieve of Eratosthenes. Eratosthenes was a Greek mathematician who lived in Alexandria, Egypt. This was during the time when Alexandria was the seat of learning for the entire Western world. And he came up with a very easy way to determine what, is, what prime numbers are. Now, with that being said, let's get started. Um, the first thing to, to keep in mind is that a prime number is any number whose only multiples are 1 and itself. Any other number besides 1 is a composite number. We're trying to eliminate the composite numbers and only find the prime. Now let's begin at the 1. 1 is neither prime nor is a composite. Um, therefore, just for the sake of doing this, we're going to do a little squiggly line on it. So 1 is eliminated. We go to 2. 2 is prime. The only multiples are 1 and itself. So we'll circle the 2 and we'll get rid of the 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, and 48. The reason why I did that is because all multiples of, of 2, all the even numbers, are uh, obviously composite. Now, the nice thing about the sieve of Eratosthenes is that when you go to the next number of the ones that are not crossed out yet, it is a prime number. 3 is prime. So, let us eliminate all the multiples of 3, which are 9, the 12 is there yet, 15, 21, 27, 33, 39, 42 is one minute, the 45, and the 48 is already eliminated. So that brings us over to the 5, which, of course, is prime. So all multiples of 5 must be eliminated. 15, 20, and finally the 25. Um, 30 is eliminated. The 35 is not until now. 40, and the 45 is eliminated, and that's the last number there. Now, 7 is the next prime number. So all multiples of 7 must be eliminated. The 14, the 21, and the 28 are, 28 are eliminated, um, as well as the 35 and the 42. The only one that's not eliminated that's a multiple of 7 is 49, which we will eliminate right now. Now, we can stop right there, because the beautiful thing about the sieve of Eratosthenes is that you will notice that 7 multiplied by 7 is 49. We've basically, we've already gone to, we've um, basically eliminated all the possibilities that we need to um, to account for all the prime numbers. The remaining numbers on here are all prime. The 11, the 13, the 17, the 19, the 23, uh, let's see, the 29, the 31, 37, the 41, the 43, and finally the 47 are all prime numbers. In less than four minutes, we were able to determine all of the prime numbers from between 1 and 49. I hope this helps you, and have fun with math, kids.